Oh my god, it's a little boy. Little boy, what are you doing playing on a cerebellum medulla obligata and all that jazz? Don't you know you should be in school? Yup. And we want to... Go to Sasha's underground lab. Yeah. Okay. 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 Ooh, what's that? Also, why is my... There we go. Stop it. Behave, mouse. Okay, whatever. You know what? It's working fine enough. Anyway, hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Psychonauts with Fu. And last time we talked to this guy. Have you tested this thing out on humans yet? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sasha 9, and, well, he's gonna have us do his advanced training course with this brain tumbler. So, what's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away! Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. <laughs> awesome. So this is my psyche, right? Wow. Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious. A place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one. Your own. Okay, that makes sense. Step through it, and we'll continue. But wait a second, didn't we go into Coach Oleander's mind? Shouldn't we be able to go in there? Ah, whatever. I'm not gonna complain. Ooh. <laughs> I've never actually tried jumping off. Figured might as well since, you know, got nothing to lose. <laughs> so anyway, let's just jump right Sputin, in. Can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see... A run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Well... Damn. <laughs> Don't know what to say about that, R Rasputin. Sasha. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going inside the caravan. No. What do you not see yet, we're inside? not. We're gonna get this vault right here. Come on. There we go. Rasputin's getaway. Ah, cool. Circus. I guess that's Rasputin. Oh, is that the psychic uh, summer camp pamphlet that he got? Oh, yeah. Looks pretty excited. Oh. Well, no wonder he ran away. <gasps> the world's smallest pony! <laughs> the world's smallest pony! <laughs> and here he is at Whispering Ro Rock, hut hitching a ride with the lumberjack. Awesome. Alright, so let's just jump right in then to this static filled birth of his. I'm not sure. Oh. It's getting fuzzy. Uh oh. Is there any? Uh oh. Uh -oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Can we? Aha! Aha! Let's crack out. Oh, well. There's a birth metaphor. Mutant, are you okay? 
What do you see now? Uh. I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a hey. Hey. Come back here. Come back here, white rabbit. We're gonna follow you down a rabbit hole. All right. First, though, let's collect some entities. Ah, darn it. Purse tag. A few more figments. Did I say collect some entities? Sorry, I meant I, I did mean figments. Whoops. Alright, where is that egg one that was floating around? The yellow chicken figment. Also, what's with the whirlwind up there? Huh. Aha! There you are. Ya yeah, jerk. Get back here. Ah! Jeez. What's up with that? Darn it. This is why I hate going after figments. Wait a minute. Rubber T-bone? What? <laughs> Darn it. Come back here. Oh, god damn it. There we go. Meat? Oh. Well, we ranked up, so we're going to be getting a new Psy power in just a while. We'll have to wait until after this, though, first. What's with all the meat, though? Jeez, this is really weird. Is Rasputin just secretly insane? Hey, wait a minute. Haven't we seen these things before? Uh, Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming-eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm diving now. Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Hmm. Train me to fight, eh? Well, before we do that, let's go check out what our new psi power is. I haven't shown you guys what this is yet. Hey. Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kreller? Or somewhere else? Oh my. Um... <laughs> Nowhere, I'd just like to come down here to hear your voice. Uh, let's go to Ford's... I mean, my... Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, let's go see Ford Cruller. Oh my goodness. Impressive. Lots of brain tumblers, aren't there? Hmm, you finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Ford Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Awesome, we get to burn things. <laughs> I love this little cutscene with the merit badges. Just reminds me of the end of the first Star Wars movie. Cool. I can't wait to burn. Just because of the music. What 
we doing here? Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Hmm. I'd like to burn... Oh. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the I was going to think of something more interesting, like... Why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? I want to if burn... happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates... Sightings. All those annoying squirrels. So all day long, he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Yeah, let's burn things. Let's burn you, Kriller. Train you in that so you could set me on fire. Now knock it off. <laughs> great, great. Now burn the rest. You'll get, you can do it. Burn. Ooh. It's getting hot Burn. here. Rasputin, Burn. lock your mental focus on this last <laughs> one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. So basically, we hold shift to lock on and... Burn! Think paint. <laughs> Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important. Or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, what was that? Because you said, you said, we said, well, it's an honor to finally meet you, but we met you already. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Yes, well, God, I have many disguises. It helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. Got it, Agent Crawler. You can count on us. Uh. Sasha says I need to learn yeah, how to not? fight better. You want to teach you advanced combat? On your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouth full of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. P prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <clears throat> Here. This is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sasha's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast anywhere you want. Awesome. Side blast? No, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. Awesome. So, well, we've got one place where we, where we can side blast at least. What are you doing here at Whispering Let's get some Rock? background. This training facility is built right smack on top of the largest titanium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. <laughs> spoonbenders. Yeah, what is titanium? titanium? I know... Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, <laughs> but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? You gonna tell me any of those stories? No, come on. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. Awesome. Someday. What is all this equipment? Someday. Well, up here, it's all intel. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. 
And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. Well, I better go, I better because... Go. Lots of work to do. You know, Good luck, Rasputin. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. Inside your head. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Hmm. Is that a piece of bacon? bacon. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have like a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. <laughs> One second. Sorry about that little pop-up. But anyway, um... Uh, um... What was I gonna say? Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, might as well get all the... Talky parts. <laughs> talky parts. Great. Now I'm just... Not even... Ah! Think words now, please. Okay, might as well get all the... Information, cutscene, dialogues out of the way so that we don't have to come back down and be like, oh, like what's this all do? We might as well get that that bacon so we can talk to Ford Cruller whenever we're, you know, dealing with something a bit over our head. Um, well, actually, go to the kid's, so the kids cabin cabins area. Because you remember we found that freezer with that mysterious thing frozen inside of it. Now that we have pyrokinesis, we can actually do something about that. So, right before we end the episode, I don't know how long it's been going. We might as well take care of that. And... Fortunately, we opened up everything. Oh, we for fortunately we opened up everything, so we can just go right in. Here we go, here we go. There we go. Oh my god, it's a sub sandwich. Thank god, I was starving. Turkey sandwich, even better. Man, I could go for some turkey. Perhaps tuna. Mmm, tuna. <laughs> anyway, that is the first, I believe. Or third, I believe, of a scavenger hunt item. So we are that much closer to getting four ranks right away. Get some arrowheads, because we'll need them. And then soon enough, we'll just... be raking in the arrowheads as soon as we can get that, that dowsing rod. Oh, that's going to be annoying, too. All right, let's go back to, you like me to take you, Agent Sasha Dine's lab. I will see you guys next time on. Bring me near the geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Kreller. Let's play Psychonauts with Mio Itsu. All right, guys. I saw Nils uh, into a not hole here. In girl's Darn it. I'm hiding, and I thought. No, I want to be inside the geodesic psycho. Isolation chamber. With pleasure. Alright guys, take it easy.